we're f***ed, Anna. Welcome to Watch the Tea, where Zenab and I spill the clean energy gossip. We'll be turning complex clean energy policy into the kind of drama we actually understand. On badgers, hmm. I have some things to tell you today. I'm excited. The Badger Cooley Transmission Law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet you did not think that's where I was gonna take this. No. What is so interesting about it is that it's all on state land and it's fully state funded. Sounds like it should be an easy project to like get up and running, right? But the feds got involved. <laughs> the transmission line itself goes over the interstate, which is managed by the Federal Highway Administration. Did that. it like touch the highway? No. It just went over it. It just went over the highway. Yeah, it had yeah. to like involve this other government agency. It involved another government agency and then there's more paperwork, more meetings, more process when this is strictly state funded and on state lands. Pretty annoying. So how long did it take? From idea to execution, we're looking at 10 years. Wow. Yeah, it's a really long time. This is an example of how permitting in the U.S. is really fundamentally broken. It just takes so much time to build out energy infrastructure yeah. specifically. The current permitting regime actually stalls more clean energy projects than fossil fuel projects just because so much of the queue of projects waiting for permission to be built is clean energy. Yeah, and I feel like there's a million and one permitting bills flying through the halls of Congress right now. Like clean energy champions in Congress, they want permitting reform. Right. But right now, some of them might feel like, why would I give the green light to build all this energy infrastructure if I know that the administration is only going to allow fossil fuel projects to be built? Absolutely. And actively kill clean energy projects. They've canceled all the tax credits. They've canceled billions of dollars in grants and funds, and they're revoking permits left and right from projects that are permitted to build or have even started the construction of a project. Like we talked about recently, Revolution Wind was 80% done and there was stalled in the courts. <laughs> but we need to find a way to fix permitting because we have skyrocketing energy demands and we need more energy infrastructure to be built to meet it. I feel like everyone agrees the system is broken and if we don't figure it out, we're never gonna meet this demand and we're just screwed. <laughs> we're f***ed, Anna. <laughs> and that was What's the Tea. So let us know what piping tea you want us to serve next.